We're going live, Cousin Charlie. Good morning. Good Monday morning. What should we should start calling Monday morning something? Live, Cousin Charlie. Mm. Good Share the stream. Hey, I need the love. Share the stream. Who is it, Cousin Charlie? Jeffrey Baker. What's he saying? He's What's going he? to make sure we're out of class tomorrow. Night. We're not going to. We're not we're going can. to because uh, I got to do a lot of packing, but I also mm -hmm. want to bring back some content from what I'm going to learn. Okay. So. Boy, Hornsby, what's shaking? Let me know what time you want to come by. Heather White, good morning, everybody. Please share the love. I promise today, my language is going to be clean. Clean. Going to be clean, Cousin Charlie. I won't say anything offensive. Oh, that's Why are you not on there? I'm watching you. You're texting. It's a lead. It's all set to lead. It ain't a lead. It ain't a lead. You're making me happy. It's a lead. Mm-mm. And Italy, I know what it is. See, hey, you can do that as soon as you get off. I'm getting off. Hey, you tell who's behind and who's the producer today? You didn't tell me about the new producer. Hey, we do want to give a big uh, um, get well soon vibe out to our girl, Kathleen Sparkle. She's under the weather. Today we got AKA the weather man. He's, he's producer. He said, hey, now if you shake that desk, it shakes everything. Okay, so well, I'm yeah. new at this. <laughs> hit the sound, hit record. All right, hey, we're going to get right to it. As uh, some of you know, this week I'm going to Vegas. Who here is going to take over Real Estate 101? We well, going to talk about that this week. That's a, that's a little meeting today to kind of figure well, we'll, out. We'll do it. Hey, y'all, Jimmy McCarthy, what's shaking, buddy? <laughs> Cousin hey. Charlie, are you ready? Are you full on 100% bored of starting the show? I'm ready. Is there any way you'll respond to a text? No, I need your you know what the trip is, is? We got such a great team and great atmosphere. You can tell when, when Sparkle even's not here. Yeah. Even whenever, when Lisa yeah. walks in, there's a feeling. There is. And when you're clicking on all cylinders and you're there for each other. So right. Sparkle definitely very, very well missed today. And it's a she's, good, she's good great team camaraderie. I've called her to check in on her. I don't. I hope she's doing well. Hey, Lee Barnes, how are you doing? Uh, hey, today I'm going to get right to this topic that I'm very passionate about. And I got this. I've got to give full 100 disclosure 100% disclosure of where I got the topic. It's from somebody I'm really, 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 really looking forward to seeing speak at the 10X Growth Conference. His name's Andy Frisella, Kyrie Sloan. Well, so, so I'm not an Andy Frisella guy. You know, I'm not a reader, yeah. so I'm yeah. getting better at that. So just a very quick underlay, what is Andy Frisella known for? He has started, he's got a huge... Uh, supplement store in St. Louis, Missouri called First Form. Okay. And he okay. is building, uh, he's building a brand. Like he's a Nutra shop kind of store, GNC kind of store. Yeah, okay. like a GNC. Okay. Like a GNC. Okay. Like a GNC. Okay. And he's phenomenal. I mean, if you listen to his podcast, it is dirty. He will cuss. Yeah. Uh, he's actually got a preacher on there that's his co-host. So it's kind of like me and you, Cousin Charlie. Who <laughs> <fight> the devil <laughs> in <names. laughs> So what he was talking about, now, uh, you can follow it if you just go to the MFCEO code for you well, know, if I knew uh, how to do that I so <laughs> you can you can find Andy Priscilla and he talks about uh, you're up in the air Kyrie before you go to Turks and Caicos or whatever he talks about so many people are wandering through life waiting to find themselves so many people are trying to find themselves you know the world mm -hmm. if you're depending upon the world to help you find yourself you're going to be in a very average position well, absolutely that's right do you, do you agree? I agree he said this make the decision of what you want to be who you want to be and commit to it mm -hmm. commit to it and then take massive amounts of action towards becoming that so here's how uh good time time it started in my head okay mm -hmm. this was something I created up here before he was out here doing this. And in my mind, I wanted good time Tommy to be these certain things. Go ahead, what, man. You, you didn't create that up there. You have to remember, whenever the big man above gives out talents, he gives the giftings and abilities. I understand. And, and so he imparted that in somebody that he knew. The Bible says that he looked for somebody to and fro to stand in the gap. He knew you had enough determination. He mm -hmm. knew you had enough in you to take it and make something happen with it, and you did. I understand, but do you think he gave me the free will and everybody else the free will to do that? Absolutely. A lot of people, fear stops a lot of people. Okay, so what about all the people out there that aren't doing it? It's because fear, because the enemy holds them back. 
There's a lot okay. of people that are scared okay, of failure. Well, if we want to get into semantics, somehow, some way, something came into my life to where I heard it. There you go. Okay? And I made the decision I wanted to become this person of interest. And this is what that person of interest would look like. These are the things that person would do. These are the qualities. This is how I wanted other people to see me. See, I don't want to get on here and people see me as having problems. I want people, hey, Dale Jr., what's shaking, buddy? I love your content, man. Her car's on here. She is on here. She's off today. Jimbo Hooten, what's shaking, buddy? Jimbo, we're not going to meet tomorrow night. I apologize. Uh, when I originally did this, I'm going to Vegas Wednesday morning. And I will come back the next Tuesday, a week from this week, and I will teach you guys or just uh, we'll collaborate about what I learned. So, uh, going back to what I was talking about, you, Jimbo Hooten, Richard Neese, Progar, you have already been given this gift by the big guy upstairs, right? Does that make you feel better if I say it that way? Absolutely. Does that make yeah. you feel better? These gifts have already been given to you. Now, it's up to you to make the decision. You can go out and become whatever you want. Yep. Too often, people are waiting on finding their why. Well, I want to go out and explore. I want to find myself. Well, hey, I can help you find yourself right now. Just make a commitment to yourself and say, this is what I want to become. You have become Cousin Charlie, whether you wanted to or not. You have become the weatherman. That's right. That's right. Okay. So in the, in this little brand, hey, Terry, Barbara, what's shaking, man? If anybody's looking for some UT paraphernalia, is that what you call it? Contact my man, Terry Barber. He'll hook you up. The best, the best stuff on the street. You have become something. You have become something bigger than yourself. I agree. Good Tom Tommy is bigger than who I was. I wanted to create something bigger than Thomas C. Davidson. I wanted to create this brand. I wanted to create a create a superhero like little guy. I wanted my life to look easy. I wanted to look like I, I'm a great salesperson. I wanted all the, I want to be known as a good person. That's why if I'm ever attacked, sure. my little brand is my baby. You know, I'm rocking my little baby. Hey, uh, hey, hey baby, 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 don't <laughs> fall. That, that's what I'm doing. That That is that is very important to me. So everybody, you're wandering around out there. You're 21, you're 22, you're Jimmy Turner, a new partner in a law firm. Whoever you are, you can become this little image. You can create Jim, Jimmy Turner. Super attorney, Kristen Beard, super what we call esthetician. You can you can you can do whatever you want. You just gotta make that decision. I made the decision. How long have I been good time, Tommy? Publicly, how long? I'd say over two years. A couple years. Good it's a it's a years. pretty good while. I mean I wasn't over here, so is when it started out. So But I am so committed to expanding this brand to where yeah. you've always been good time tommy you know but to create a brand and change the image of the brand of that you've been on the focus for about two and a half years of just probably, probably. constantly making it better more input you read you just you, yeah. you're around so, people so to me my little brand to me right now feels like if i could draw a little dot right up here that's how big it is i need that brand so big mm -hmm. Cousin Charlie needs to get so big. And I'm going to tell you, one of the mistakes I've made trying to grow this brand is I've lost connection with people. Yeah. I've depended too much upon this instead of this, you know, actually with people because I'm very introverted. A lot of people would not know. I like to, I really don't like to leave the office. Then I like to go home. That's what I really want to do. Or nukes. Like, we like nukes. Nukes. I like to go to these places <laughs> to where uh, I, I really would just rather kind of be with my little group. But I, I'm saying that I'm doing that wrong. That is, if I want to grow this brand, if you want to grow your brand, Jimmy Turner, you need to put content. You need to you need to go ahead and tell the world out there who you is, man, and what you want to be known for. That's what you need to do. Right. Cousin Charlie, do you have any questions? You ain't got the phone to look at. No, I don't. What you got? I think so many times, instead of taking action, we wait and try mm. to make something perfect. Mm. Cousin Charlie. Sometimes you just mm. got to get started. Cousin Charlie, man. Per, uh, people that uh, are waiting to make things perfect really procrastinate. Yeah, yeah. 
you ain't gonna ever, it ain't ever gonna be yeah. perfect. No. If you can get something up to about 80%, you need to push it out. Yeah. Maybe 70, 75%. Because a lot of the people out there, they don't even realize that it ain't perfect. Right. Right. Only you do up in your crazy little mind, Monica Gunner. And sometimes we, girl. sometimes we move too fast instead of waiting a second Make sure you're doing the right thing, and then go. Because so there's, it goes both ways. Sometimes we drag our feet. Sometimes we jump all in. I always go too fast. Always. Yes. Yeah. But well. you know that's it's just it's just a mentality. So there's a there's a great fine line. Yeah. To be where you need to be. That's that eighty percent. Mm -hmm. We already know it's almost impossible to be at a hundred percent. You know. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it's just very rare to run on that kind of Yeah, cylinder. you can get from 0 to 80% a whole lot faster than you can get from 80 to 85%. Oh yeah, wow. you know, those, so get it out there. But hey, here's what we're really talking about this morning. Quit waiting on the world to tell you who you're going to become. Make the decision right now. This is what I want to become. As Weatherman said, it's really already been decided. It's just up to you now mm -hmm. to activate something that's already been given to you. But see, I wasn't thinking like this. I was not thinking nothing like this for, for 10, 11, 12 years of my life. I was just thinking about coming in this day and hoping something good would happen. Coming in, maybe some days I was motivated and I would yeah. come in and I would be a little more proactive. But really, what I was doing, I was not telling myself enough of what the outcomes were going to be. I was not putting it out there that this this is what I'm going to become. Right. Brittany Renee, about time you get on here. You're a little late. I know you've got a full plate today, but there is no reason you should not have been on here at 8.30. What time is it, Cousin Charlie? I don't know. You took my phone. What like time? 9.30. She's out she late. She is so yeah. late. Me and her got to do a lot of packing. Here's what sucks, and we'll wrap this up, is right now I am a fat boy. I'm fat, okay? Now I gotta go out. No, I'm fat. Well, yeah, uh, let me let me tell you why I'm fat. The scale don't lie. The doctor don't lie. My when I w measure my waist, it don't lie. But here's the other thing: my clothes don't fit. So here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna probably have to go out and buy eight hundred, nine hundred dollars worth of clothes just to go to this conference to wear for a few weeks. Because when I get back, guess what? Pounds coming off. I'm getting skinny again. I am fat. And it doesn't Charlie. For me, hey, for me, I'm fat. I'm 225 pounds right now. I need to be 194.6 pounds. That's where I need to be. But you ain't 245. You ain't 265. I'm very, uh, I can help you with a fat thing, TD. I can help myself, but I appreciate you. How, uh, let me tell you how you can help me, LB, is get on here and ask me when I get back from Vegas. Don't ask me between <laughs> now and I get back, okay? But, um, just asking me. Remember that day we were going to do? We committed to the twenty-one day challenge, cousin Charlie. Yeah. How I many hours did we complete of that? Six, maybe. I, I don't know. Y'all make a good to lunchtime. I now here's something else I'm going to talk about another day. Can you keep commitments with yourself? See, the longer you do not keep these commitments that you have with yourself, you start to lose trust with yourself. Kind of like I don't trust that person. I don't trust that person. Well, internally, you lose trust with yourself. Hey, I'm going on a diet, but guess what? At lunchtime, we're going to go eat bad. That's right. So here's what ends up. Hey, you lose trust. You lose faith yeah. in yourself. When you do that, your confidence, you lose your confidence. Everybody, go out and make a decision today, right now, of who you are, what you want to become. Don't wait for the world to tell you what your why is. You already have been given your why. Now all you got to do is tell yourself, this is what I'm going to become. Then you got to put action on it. Make the decision, commit, put action on it. Everybody have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow. Hey, post who should host Real Estate 101 between the Weatherman, Cousin Charlie. I'm in 100 push-ups a day challenge for 30 days, and that's it. I'm challenging every... Everyone, 100 push-ups a day? We can't do 100 push-ups in a day. Lee Barnes, are you crazy? Might hurt my pickleball game if I was doing all them push-ups. <laughs> my shoulder's sore, my wrist's sore. Yeah, man, that would just, uh, I don't know if I like that. How are we going to hit pause and play on these videos if I doesn't hurt? That's right. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.